Hello guys and welcome to eBike24. Um, in this video we are going to take a look at the motor connections for the Bosch Gen 5 motor. It has six connections in total and eight different functions so let's get right into it. We start with a big round plug that connects your e-bike to the e-bike battery using a 36 volts system. However, this is the only task it has, um, so you can basically readily ignore this cable. All the other ports are way more interesting. For instance, the black port right next to it, which is the display port, and it supplies all your displays and your remotes with electricity, like the Kiox or the smartphone grip. You can also use it to additionally retrofit a Bosch Connect module, which allows you to track your e-bike via GPS. To the right, you'll find a double connection in orange and yellow. Orange means that the ABS system is connected here, and that it communicates with the bike system and is of course supplied with power. Yellow means that this is the connection for the HPP, the high power port, which allows you to connect additional devices or accessories uh, like an electric gear shift system or turning lights. Or you can even use it as an additional power supply, for instance for lamps that need two power connections. This connection offers up to 12 volts and 1 ampere in constant current, however it can reach peak currents of up to 3.5 amperes for a duration of about 4 seconds. What's nice to know is that the green LPP plug uh, can also be connected to the yellow high power port. Um, and yeah, so let's look at the LPP, the low power port, which is marked in green and is also responsible for powering additional external devices, also using 12 volts. However, it cannot reach uh, peak currents of more than one amperes. And some bikes may already have a gray cable connected from the LPP to the speed sensor, in which case you won't be able to use the low power port. And now the last two uh, connections which are responsible for the light. The blue port is responsible for the front light and the red port is responsible for the rear light. Um, both systems offer 12 volts and can combined offer up to 1.5 amperes. That means that both your rear and your front lights can't have more than 18 watts of power. For anything that goes further, you have to use the LPP or the HPP. All plugs and connections are color and shape coded, so you can basically do nothing wrong when connecting them. However, it is important to note that some connections need to be unlocked by a bike dealer. So if you want to retrofit or upgrade the device, just connect it to the port see if it works, if it has power. If it doesn't, then just visit your local bike dealer and they should be able to unlock it for you in no time. All the cables you need for all six of the connections you can find in our online shop. If you want to see more informative videos about e-bikes, then subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.